Hello, I am Sri. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker course by CBTU. Module Metasploit section Installation and Setup of Metasploit on Kali Linux. Metasploit framework or MSF works best at minimum requirements. However, having a good system with maximum resources will enhance performance of Metasploit while conducting pen testing. The requirements are good 64-bit quad-core CPU or better processor, 2GB RAM, 10GB hard disk space. A system with higher resources can run multiple VMs to practice lab on a single system. If individual systems are available with low resources, they can be used in the lab. We need Metasploit installed on Kali Linux or Windows that is used as a tacking system. We need vulnerable systems for testing exploits. Microsoft offers VMs for many operating systems. They can be downloaded for testing exploits. Metasploitable Linux system is intentionally vulnerable system provided by Rapid7. We'll be seeing more information about these vulnerable systems in the coming sessions. So minimum requirements we have seen. A system with good resources will enhance performance while doing practice or conducting pen testing in the environment, in the production environment. If you want to install Metasploit on your Windows operating system or any other operating system, you need to disable antivirus and firewall. If not done, the antivirus will interrupt the installation. If you cannot disable antivirus, you must exclude Metasploit directory from the scan. Kali Linux comes with pre-installed MSF, Metasploit framework, that is recommended for use than installing on your own system. For installing Metasploit framework, you need to have administrator or root privileges. This is Kali Linux and this is MSF console. We have downloaded the VM of Kali Linux from the Kali.org website. Let us log into the system. Kali Linux is an advanced penetration testing and security auditing Linux distribution. Kali comes with various security tools categorized for use. Metasploit is under exploitation tools. Click. We need PostgreSQL database to store the information about the security scans and other reports. So Metasploit is started. This is MSF console. If database is not started, then you can start the database. This is started. We stop the service and let us open another terminal. MSF console can be launched from terminal by typing MSF console, hit enter. So we want to check the database. The host database is not imported. The database is not started. Okay, let us start the database. Let us close this, open another terminal. MSF console, database is started. We'll be checking the various commands and functionality of MSF in the coming sessions. Show will display information about all the modules, encoders, knobs, exploits, payloads, auxiliary, post-exploitation modules, plugins, information and other options. These are the various commands core commands, module commands, job commands, resource list, database backend commands, ok back to presentation. Rapid7 provides open source installers for the MSF on Linux, Windows, and OS X operating systems. MSF installer includes MSF console interface and all the necessary dependencies 
and associated tools like nmap, john the ripper, etc. These are the resource links for MSF download and installation. One thing to remember, when you start the Kali Linux, MSF may not be up to date. You need to update the Metsploit framework. Run MSF update. You need to update Metsploit framework to the latest version. These update and install commands checks for the Metsploit in the Kali repos. MSF update is no longer supported. Use apt update. It's updating Kali Linux. Apt install Metsploit framework. It will download and install the packages to the latest Metsploit framework. When you start the MSF console, it will show you the version and the count of exploits, auxiliary modules, post-exploitation modules, payloads, and other information. This is the GitHub page for Metsploit Framework Nightly Installers. You can download Linux or Windows operating system. Latest Windows installer is around 670 MB. The download in progress. To start the MSF console, we can use MSF DB run. This will start the database and run MSF console. Or you can start MSF console and if the database is not started, you can use service PostgreSQL start to start the database. Exit Metasploit console by typing exit. MSFDB manages Metasploit Framework database. Let us see the help options. Re init, reinit, start, stop, status, MSFDB run. MSFDB run, this starts the database and run MSF console. Let us type. You can use service commands to start PostgreSQL database. This is MSFDB status. PostgreSQL is started. Back to our presentation. In the coming sessions, we'll be covering Metasploit architecture and file system, commands, modules, and demos. Thanks for watching.